Hi, everybody. I'm Nancy O'Dell with your movie sneak peek. Sherman, Penny, why are you two dressed like ancient Greeks? I lost her in ancient Egypt. And I got engaged to King Tut. Then we ran out of gas. In ancient Troy. You used the way back. Yeah. She was into it. Oh, my. I am uh, so very different from Mr. <laughs> Peabody. Peabody being so, so competent, so smart, so perfect. I, yeah, no, that's not me. But, um, but it's, it was a blast to play. You know, it's, it's, it is fun even for a couple of hours in a sound booth to pretend like I have all the answers, you know? I love the fact that the one thing that Peabody, his one weakness is that, you know, he's got to learn how to be a parent. And that part I can relate to very well. Um, so that it's it's been a really fun process. I loved that cartoon when I was a kid. I loved all the Rocky and Bullwinkle stuff. As soon as it was available on DVD, I bought it for my children and said, you can watch as much of this as you want because it's actually funny. Did you guys become bigger fans of history through working on this film at all? I, history has always been a tough subject for me because <laughs> I always was like, eh, well, fine, history, because I love math and for me, but, like, I just love numbers. But after uh, working on the movie for so long and seeing all the all the cool little period pieces that were in the movie, and also because my sophomore history class is pretty cool, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I definitely uh, started to like history a whole lot more. Yeah, does it make you more interested, or were you already a big history buff? Yeah, well, math uh, was actually my favorite also. Um, but then when I saw the movie, you know, you really get interested. Uh, in your history. This does not give you a greater appreciation for historical moments in time, and I think that's a plus. It's not like going to history class. My favorite subject in school was um, daydreaming, which was not an official course, but um, I did it enough that I could have gotten a degree. I'm sure this is the big question of the day. If you had your own time machine, what time period of history would you be interested in traveling to? I would say either ancient Greece because I'm Greek, mm -hmm. or um, uh, the time period of King Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. Ah. It would be pretty cool to go back to dinosaurs, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not get too close to them, because, you know. Just be invincible around the dinosaurs. Like, they can't step on you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see the Siege of Troy. I mean, it's a long trip, it's 10 years, but I, I you know, I would love to see the maybe the fall of Troy, the Trojan horse. I would either go back to the early 80s right before I cut my hair into a, um, a mullet just to warn myself of the, what I was about to do to humanity. I'd be tempted to put on you know, the armor of Achilles and avenge the dead Patroclus. Look it up.